Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on Auto Piano Roll 2. In this video we are going to talk about node tools. So let's start, let's click on the plus sign and let's create a MIDI channel and let's add Atom as um, a MIDI processor. So let's uh, open it and maximize the window. So the node tools are located here on the bottom left. So let's start with the first one which is add. When you have selected it, if you click on the piano roll, you create a note and you can continue like so. You can create as many notes as you like. Now, if you click on the same note, you select it. And if you click again, you deselect it. So you have to click and then click again to remove it. Now, the length of each note is determined by the grid and if uh, the snapped grid is actually activated. So here where it says 116 grid, if you click on it, it will re reveals the option for the grid. So for example, you can say show eighth notes, you can see the grid changes. The snap function is there, so in this case I can create a note, but it will be one eighth in length. Uh, or I can choose a quarter. Again, the grid will change I can, uh, and I can create notes in quarters. Now, if you click and hold and you can move, you can create, of course, note which um, uh, you can decide the duration. But there will be, again, snap to grid if the snap to grid is selected. Let's go to grid again. If you deactivate the snap to grid, of course, you can create freely note like so without being bound bounded by uh, the grid so let's reactivate the snap now you have a repeat function um this allows you to again create notes like so if you click only and let's change the grid uh, size to 16th but this time if you click and hold and you move it will repeat notes based on the length uh, based on the grid and snap Okay, settings. So again, if you go back to grid, you can say I'll remove the snap. Okay, and it will still, as you can see, uh, maintain the sizes of um, of uh, one sixteenth, but it will change accordingly. And you can see the notes are repeated, like so. Okay, so let's reactivate snap again. You have a slice here a function. So if you click and hold you see this vertical bar and you can go over a note and when you finish your release it will split that note by, um, on the vertical point where you uh, have started to press and hold or click with touch and hold the position before you untouch and it will also select the notes on the right hand side and you can do that multiple times so uh, go to this one like so again depending on the settings as well that you have on grid and if snap is activated or not to the grid you have also select function so you can click and select different notes like so you can click and hold and it will do like a, a lasso selection like so or you double click outside and it will select uh, all the notes uh, which are available the interesting thing is also that um, if you select a note like so and you click on the fill here it will zoom onto that note if you click fit it will uh, zoom out to, to show you all the notes and particularly the fill a function is quite nice it's really nice because you can select multiple notes like that and then you say fill and it will fill to the selection which is really good okay i hope that you enjoyed the introduction and i'll see you in the next video bye